Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Atimster. Today I'm going to be giving away this free grappling hook demo. Basically, as requested a couple times, someone wanted to know how to get a grappling hook working. So basically, I put together this demo. I've tried to put a tutorial together, but there's been a couple problems here and there, and then obviously technical issues and other bits and pieces. I just thought I may as well give you the dot blend so you can just take it away and pull it apart by yourself and have a cool little play with it and then implement it into your games if you think it's useful. If I press numpad 0 and press P. So as you can see it just shoots out an icosphere. There isn't really any string or grappling hook as these are more sort of visual elements. Uh, that differ away from the actual game mechanic. So uh, I've just added is the sort of core mechanics of how it's all going to work. As you can see, it's only using logic bricks and two states, so there's no Python involved. If I shoot over here, it will pull me towards it, and then within a certain distance, I'll stop moving, and yeah, I've got all my movement restored. So to see how this all works, first of all, we have our wall here, just with a property. It can be named anything. And then on layer 2, we have over here our icosphere. I probably should have called this grappling hook, but it's basically the same thing. On our grappling hook, we have an always sensor, so it's always moving. Then when it does collide with a property, so the same property that's on the wall, it sends out a message to all objects uh, with a subject of hit. So again, that subject could be anything if you're doing it for your own games. And then at the same time, it adds the object follow and it ends itself. Then also on this layer, we have our other object here. It's called follow. And basically, if we go back to layer one and we look at our player on state two, when he's being pulled, we have him tracking to that object called follow. So basically we spawn in an object and then our player as soon as he sees that one object will move towards it. Obviously we have motion here as well so he's moving uh, but he'll be constantly looking towards it. Then however when our player here does collide with the same cube that he's following uh, it will end the cube so if we select our cube here or the follow cube uh, it's going to end the cube so it'll disappear and then obviously once it's disappeared or our player's collided with it then it'll set it back to state 1 so the player has normal movement again and it will restore his dynamics. So also a feature you might have noticed if we select the player's head it has the property enable. If you go into the mouse look script here uh, and we scroll down you can see all these properties we can add to our head or the object with the mouse look script and you can see adjust, invert, cap and these are all different features you can add to the head to sort of change the behavior. So right here, enable, I've been using that one and basically when we're getting pulled in I've just turned that to false so we're not able to look around and again that just stops bugs of the player looking away and then moving away in the wrong direction. So there we go guys, that is pretty much it, that's our own grapple hook system. So again, download link in the description if you want to go ahead and get yourself a copy. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, or share. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated. If you want to keep up to date with the newest videos, as well as if there are any technical issues or any sort of delays or anything, be sure to like my page on Facebook as I'm usually posting updates there. Hope this video helps you out. Have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next one.